Hi guys, my name is Raina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, time lapse get ready with me. Um, this is when my sister and I went to get or went to sing at the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame. And um, so I was just putting some primer on. Now I'm just brushing my hair with my favorite detangling brush by Conair. Now I'm going to put my foundation on. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Uh, foundation in the shade Fresco and this is like my absolute favorite foundation of all time um, it just covers everything it has amazing staying power and there's Lindley and I'm applying that with my Eco Tools sponge next I'm going to be applying um, Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the shade Light Sand and I'm blending that out a little bit with my finger and then also with the sponge as well. Now I'm going to be setting that with the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. And I hit pan on that recently. I love that product. Also going to be setting the face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Then I'm going to be Priming my eyelids um, with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I had a shirt that I was going to wear, like a very specific shirt. Um, you'll see it in the end. It's like sequins and blue and really pretty. So it took me a little while to pick up a couple of palettes. You'll see that in a minute. But um, right now I'm just putting on my brows. I'm going to be I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And this is the product that I use every single day. I absolutely love it. So as I said, I took a few minutes to pick out the palettes because I knew what my shirt was going to look like anyway. And I'm starting with the Emily Edit The Wants palette. Um, with the shade Hobby. Um, this is a Makeup Revolution palette and I'm trying to film it so you can see but I am kind of new to filming makeup looks. Um, and then this is the Makeup Revolution Soap X Extra Spice palette. This is the really dark shade. I'll have it linked or not linked but I'll have it um, what the shade name is in the video in the text. And I'm just applying that to the outer corner and blending, blending. So, and now I'm actually taking a shade very similar to Hobby. It's cookie dough in that same palette. And I'm just, again, adding to the crease, kind of blending that out, the edges. Um, now I think I'm going to grab a pencil brush. And I'm going to be adding the shade Money Bags from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette um, to my lower lash line. My shirt was like green sequins, so I really wanted that gold shimmer to pop. I'm also adding that same shade to the inner corner and like first inner third of the lid. And blending all the time. And I decided that my dark shade needed to be picked up a little bit there, so I just added some more. Now I'm adding the um, silver shade from that Extra Spice palette. Um, I really like, I've been looking for a silver shade for a long time and I really like this one. I like the one in the Chocolate Gold palette too. If you have a really good silver that you like, be sure and link it down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. And blending. If you've ever drove across time on bridge If you've had a couple conies from the fairgrounds driving And I think I'm adding a highlight shade, shade there. It must be from the chocolate gold palette, but I don't know what it is. 
So just kind of deepening everything up right now. And blending once again. Now I'm applying this Physician's Formula um, eyeliner. Um, I'll put exactly what it is in the text, but um, I really like this eyeliner. It, I've had it for a really long time and it takes a while to dry out. And I feel like I have a lot of precision with it. Uh, this is an Emily Noel 83 recommend, recommendation. Now I'm applying the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara in the shade Very Black, also recommended by Emily. really like this mascara a lot. And make sure to get the lower lashes really well. I was going for some major lashes with this look because it is so dramatic. Okay, so now I'm um, just kind of sculpting out my cheekbones a little bit with the, cur the shade Courage from the Emily Edit the Knees palette. Uh, also, my jaw bones because I'm trying to make myself look a little bit skinnier, even though that would take a miracle. And also around my hairline, and I'm a little heavy handed so I had to bring my sponge back in. A little bit of contour on my nose, but not a lot. And I really like this Milani Blush Trio. I think I'm using the darkest shade for this palette. And then, as a reminder, it, the makeup might, might look kind of bold, but um, I was going to be on stage under a bunch of lights, so... <laughs> This is the Lorac Perfectly Lit Highlight. I really like a natural highlight because um, I tend to get oily sometimes. Okay, this is the next Control Freak Brow Gel. I decided to hold off on applying that until after I got my eyeshadow finish. Then I'm applying the CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stain. Um, this is a product I've had for a really long time, but I love it. It is still not dry. And then this is a product also not available anymore, but it's the CoverGirl Nature Lux Lip Balm in the shade Anemone. This is like my perfect red lip. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And you can see my sparkly green and blue sequiny shirt. There's a close-up of the eye look. And I wish I could do more with my hair, but... That just had to do. I got those earrings from Macy's a long time ago, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!